hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele in today's video i share with you how i make my easiest lazy day jollof rice now look when i tell you that this jollof will be ready in about an hour i mean just that and i'm using the roasted turkey spam my husband doesn't eat pork so i usually do not use the pork type and trust me this one right here is absolutely delicious when i use pork i don't even like it as much as i like this one so i begin by cutting it into cubes you may use any type that you prefer or any other protein that you prefer you can use leftover chicken leftover whatever you have because that is how easy this recipe is so once i'm done cutting this we're just going to fry them in a little bit of coconut oil which will infuse it flavor flavor into it. While our Spam is frying beautifully, I'm going to go ahead and prep one large onion, one habanero pepper, one spice blend cube, and I have about a six ounce can of tomato paste, which is what I usually use. This is one of my lazy nights I will put this together within an hour and dinner will be served, okay? And this is super bachelor friendly. If you're a bachelor and you have a hard time making jollof rice, this recipe right here is for you, okay? Try it and love your sweet jelly even more. <laughs> I'm just playing. So yeah, I'm going to prep all these ingredients and set them aside. Spam is also nice and ready, so we will get it out and set it aside. In the same oil, I'm going to go ahead and add in my chopped onions and I'm going to cook it for about five minutes. I'll then go ahead and add in one spice blend cube, which I already have a recipe for on the channel. You can go right ahead and check it out. I'm just going to allow this to melt into the oil beautifully. And then I'll go ahead and add in my habanero pepper and also tomato paste. Once I add in my tomato paste, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over because there's a bit of heat on the bottom side and then I'll cover it up and allow it to melt. Because this just came out of my freezer, I kind of have to babysit it a little bit to get it to melt beautifully and then I'll add in some water to loosen it up to my preference. season it with some shrimp powder, seasoning cube. You may use any seasoning of your choice. I'm not using my all-purpose seasoning because I want you to use any seasoning that you have, okay? And also salt to taste. I'll give it a stir and then I'll adjust the water a bit if I need a little more and I do. So I'll add in enough water to make this nice and loose and then I'll let it simmer until oil settles on top of it, which will be an indication that it is ready or almost ready. And also the tomatoes will no longer have a sour taste if you taste and your tomatoes still have a sour taste add a bit more water and allow it to cook for a little longer as you can see our stew is looking good so it is time to add in our spam give it a quick stir and i'm going to go ahead and add in some thyme anise and also curry powder i'll lower the heat and allow it to simmer for about five minutes while I go ahead and wash my rice. And we are back. Just check out this too. It is looking so good. You can enjoy it right now with anything of your choice. But we're just going to add in the rice and stir cook this until the rice have absorbed 
all the beautiful stew or sauce around it right now. This is exactly where you want it to be. At this point, hopefully you know the texture of the rice that you're using because that would determine how much water you add. With this rice, I just need enough water to be at the same level as the rice. That way it doesn't become very mushy. But if that is how you like your rice, then by all means go ahead and add in more water but i'm just going to go ahead and add just a little more water give it a stir and as you can see all the rice is nicely loosed around in the sauce it's not stiff so we'll cover this and allow it to cook until all the water have evaporated i usually will put a parchment paper at this point but people wanted to know why i do that so i've decided to not use it today and show you all the reason why it is needed and at this point i'm going to give it a stir because stirring your jollof rice is very important to allow it cook through and through because at this point everything is sticking together so you just want to kind of fluff it up so that the steam can go through it beautifully and cook your rice to perfection so now i'll cover it up and when we come back you will notice on the sides of your pot it is more wet than in the middle that is because all of the condensation that was coming to your lid is going back into your rice which will end up causing it to be mushy if you had parchment paper like this right here as you can see it has collected all of the condensation and it'll now be up to you to add it back into your rice or to get rid of it but as you can can see our rice is still looking good because I know the rice so I have used just the right amount of water in it to give me the texture that I'm going for so at this point we have just about five minutes for our rice to be done so I'll cover it for that five minutes and when we come back I'll add in some bell peppers which will add an amazing flavor to our jollof and just like that we've made dinner and this was in about 45 minutes minutes okay jollof rice doesn't have to be hard and the sauce that we made or stew was absolutely delicious you can use it to enjoy anything else even if you don't wish to make jollof rice with it and there you have it i'll cover for just about a minute for the flavors to infuse into the rice and dinner will be ready to be served and enjoyed <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, bye y'all.